Vultures 2 is getting fixed and updated in real time and we also need to discuss that new listening party that we didn't touch on in yesterday's video so let's jump straight into this. If you want to stay up to date with everything surrounding hip hop make sure to subscribe and also become a part of this community by joining our discord server in the description. So obviously Vultures 2 is out I expressed quite a strong opinion on it in yesterday's video the day of the release where I said that this is really not a good album this is something that shouldn't have dropped because he had so much time to finish these unfinished songs that didn't get finished and the mixing was bad and there was AI and we had mumbled verses it was a mess but shortly after the release we did get word that the songs are getting updated in real time on the yeezy.com website where it says that obviously Vultures 2 is out on all DSPs and updated songs will be published in real time. I already said this yesterday, why are you updating songs in real time when you've had months to update songs that we've gotten the versions of from like March? I mean, in other Kanye albums like T-Love, it was kind of the thing that he was working until the last minute and then he still had some stuff to fix after release. But in this case, he hasn't been working for the last few months, at least not noticeably, because the versions of the songs are the ones we've had for months, which is crazy. Or it may, they even got, you know, turned to worse editions, like on Lifestyle. Anyway, we already got a couple of patches, so let's take a look at them just real quick, go over them. We've had Field Trip with added effects, changed vocal EQs, Fried also got uh, some reverb delay on it, Isabella got shortened by a second, we've had Maybe being renamed to Forever, it also got shortened with a different outro and some mixing, we've also had Forever Rolling with some better mixing on there and Sky City received the biggest uh, changes, we've had uh, added effects We've had on the AI-verse, which is obviously just a shame, we've had effects on the actual Yay-verse, there was also some bass lines added and some instruments in the back as well, and I mean, the most prominent thing that we've gotten is also, as I said, a rename, maybe to forever, which is pretty, uh, you know, pretty remarkable because how are you going to change the name of a song a couple of hours after release? I mean, we're kind of used to this with Yay. That's why we're not like looking at it that, you know, that drastically, but just kind of try to gauge the absurdity of all this. These songs have been around for months and he's now changing titles on the day of release because fans weren't happy. Honestly, this is kind of crazy. This is insane, but it's just what Kanye has been doing and it's just gotten worse and worse. I mean, t -Lop was a disaster, but compared to this, was relatively civil like this is actually just a mess right now and i believe we're going to get more updates obviously over the course of the next couple of weeks donda times is kind of transmitting the ideas to the responsible people they also announced that we're not going to get new songs on here rather that the track list could just be restructured so kind of you know maybe song number eight could be song number six and vice versa something like that but we're not going to get new material until Vultures 3. So that is kind of sad because some people were hoping that maybe Take Off Your Dress or Gun To My Head or Believer could still make the track list, could be swapped out for one song or another. That's not going to be the case. We're not going to get new material until Vultures 3. But we're not even talking about Vultures 3 anymore. We still need to get a good version of Vultures 2 before we start talking about V3. But honestly, that's honestly that I can say is something that I've seen also in the Discord. If you're not a part of the Discord, make sure to join it with the link in the description. We're already talking about Vultures 3 because we're just trying to forget this mess. Uh, let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. But, you know, I've kind of seen that. We're kind of like the, the, the name V3, Vultures 3, has been popping up a lot more ever since the drop. And, I mean, obviously, because now we're looking for that. But still, it's kind of remarkable. Anyway, something else that I wanted to show y'all which also we, we kind of discussed in the Discord, so shout out to all the people in the Discord, uh, was a Wikipedia entry on Vultures 2, so the official Vultures 2 Wikipedia site that has its own section post-release issues, and you can read funny stuff like, with many calling it unfinished and rushed, many mixing issues were reported, including vocals on Sky City and My Soul being panned only to one ear, drums on Dead being too loud, and more, so people were really, really going in here and expressing their frustration too, I guess that this was kind of like an objective just kind of reconstruction of events 
but I just thought it was funny that it's already up on Wikipedia. Now, something that I definitely wanted to also quickly emphasize a little more because we didn't talk about it as much in yesterday's video. I only showed the, the announcement real quick in yesterday's video, but I had a lot more to say then. So we're going to discuss it a little bit now. Is the new listening experience that Ty released shortly after the album released? And this is Salt Lake City listening experience on August 9th. So in only five days, which is crazy because we've been talking about these other listening experiences in late August, early September. We're going to talk about them in a second too, but just consider how, you know, kind of near in the future this is. This is only in five days. This is at the end of next week, I believe. That should be Friday. Yeah, it actually is Friday. I'm right. Um, so we're going to get this album performed live next Friday. And, the, you know, we thought that we were going to have to wait a whole more longer time for this, but let's see what they say at that listening experience. Likely nothing, they're just gonna jump around to the songs like they always do, but maybe we're gonna get some sort of interesting statement, interesting note as to maybe this whole drama surrounding Vultures 2, why it dropped so spontaneously, why it dropped in this unfinished state. Um, I, I doubt that we're gonna have some answers to those questions, but you know, I'm, I'm still hoping. Also something that I said I wanted to touch on is the Taiwan show, which is the second one in the in the Asia tour, uh, which Tai now reposted. So he recently reposted the Korea show selling out. We've also had the Taiwan show selling out. We looked at the ticket site a couple of videos ago, and now we actually have him reposting this. So maybe he's gonna go to Instagram to also share his thanks to the fans that have sold out the tickets. Now, aside from that, he's also been reposting a bunch of stuff about this album going number one, for example, on Apple Music, which obviously is not that difficult because that is in real time, the number of streams that it gets. So Vultures 2 being number one in Apple Music is not that remarkable. Uh, but also we've gotten these, you know, these lists of all the countries that it is number one in on Apple Music. This is not Billboard. This is not album sales. This is just Apple Music. And it is 43 countries, you know, uh, noticeably without the US. And without the UK, without, for example, Germany, neither. So a couple of those big countries are not represented here, which I thought was interesting. So apparently people from those countries weren't as hyped or maybe just Taylor Swift has taken over. I don't know. Or Eminem. But it's, uh, it's still interesting. It's um, something that uh, I th thought was noteworthy because we always talk about this album so negatively, but the numbers still speak for themselves. It's doing pretty well. And I guess it is just because of Kanye's name, because of the hype. But still, I wanted to also have this as a positive balance in this video because we always bash this album now after the release. But numbers-wise, it's doing pretty well so far. Now, this is going to be everything for today. Let me know how y'all feel about Kanye working on the album again after it dropped like he always does. What changes do you still wish to include? I've seen some comments on OG production on River and Time Moving Slow, so hopefully those will make the cut. But other than that, let me know all your thoughts on this in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly, join my discord in the description. Until the next one, you'll have an incredible day and you'll take care.